Last Friday night was a spiritual blessing. Although it was the first day, I really had no appetite and just felt weak. I had no energy to go to night of worship. I wanted to get an energy drink to help me, but I texted a friend asking if that was fine. He says, no, fight your flesh. When you feel weak, that's when you look to him to strengthen you, not the material things. So I went to night of worship just to sit and enjoy. But as I began worshiping, I got into it and began to get strengthened. Didn't feel the weakness anymore. And soon after, finally, my spirit man began to open up. I'm learning Jesus has secrets to share with us. During worship, he opened up my understanding to see how important it is to give everything to him. I've always heard this growing up, but I really never understood it until I experienced it Friday night. I'm seeing what this means even physically because I am literally losing weight, looking frail, and I don't feel like doing anything except for going to bed and dying to my flesh. It was so real to me at that point. For over 20 minutes, the Holy Spirit revealed to me the importance of us really dying to our flesh, to everything of this world, and it sure isn't easy. This is why most people can't do it, because we are so used to the microwave type response. Dying to self is what he requires of us. Either God is Lord or we are. I am learning what it is to die. I am learning how to die as well. He has secrets he's desperately wanting to tell me. He has secrets he desperately wants to tell each one of us. He says, how are we supposed to take people to deep waters if we ourselves have never died to averageness and mediocrity and experienced deep intimacy with God? This is what he is calling me to do. I finally decided to do it these two weeks for the first time in my life, and he is honoring it. I told him, Lord, it's not right to put you to the test according to what your word says, but in a sense, you know my heart, and I'm putting you to the test. I'm going to make this decision. I'm going to give it all, and I'm expecting you to show up these weeks, and he has. We really can't look like Jesus if we don't know him intimately, and reading about him is not going to do it. Spending time with him is good, but it won't do it either. It's ripping every last piece of ourselves away to where we even look undignified. Jesus wants everything that we think makes us who we are to people to be ripped away. Like the woman who poured oil on his feet and didn't care that she was looking ridiculous in a room with the religious Pharisees. It's when we really have nothing left to keep us looking dignified in this life when he lets loose his presence and his secrets. As we empty ourselves of the things of this world, we then have room to be filled with the supernatural. It has been churning in my heart that we can go much further and deeper here at CFNI. We are not even close to where we should be in the supernatural. He revealed to me last Friday night that it can actually be real to us. As we truly die to ourselves, we can begin to look more like Jesus and treat others as he would treat them. This is a big task for any human who has been tainted by society, but we will never succeed at it unless we are no more and he is completely in charge of our hearts and minds. This is so awesome and exciting. There is so much Holy Spirit-led life many Christians are missing out on and don't even know. As we die to ourselves, we can be the vessels God uses to show them abundant life in Him. We can be the light to them. It's no more guessing and wondering for me. I know it. I believe it. But He is teaching me there is a process. I wish it would happen all at once, but He showed me it's the process which builds faith and character. It's now reinforced in me that it's worth it to die to self. You can't grow in God if you do not die to self. That is what I was expecting. For him to show me deeper things like those in the Gospels and in the book of Acts, I had been questioning and wondering if some of these great spiritual outpourings and manifestations of God's power would happen again. God hasn't let us down. We are the ones not contending for our spiritual inheritance as we should. Let's continue pursuing him and do not slow down. I experienced this minimally when he changed my heart in 2008, which sparked my spiritual appetite for more. I have known since then there is more. I have always wondered, will it ever return and be the norm? I believe this will be the norm here at Sif and I. All this happened Friday night, and I went home not wanting to relent. I went into worship, interceding for my family and Sif and I, and suddenly everything seemed to pause as I spoke. Our purpose here is to die to self. Immediately it clicked in my head that this is our purpose at Sif and I for the students. It was so real and clear in the moment that it felt like everything else was far away from me in space. A few seconds later, it felt like I came back to reality and I heard on my TV, Upper Room was singing at the Jesus Conference. Now we have our purpose, now we have our destiny. All these things connected for me, and I knew this was the answer that had been asked so many times here at CFNI. We are here to teach the kids to die daily, but we can't do that if we ourselves are not dying daily to what Paul describes as the pride of life, lust of the eyes, and the lust of flesh. 
I know this is a challenge to us. This is why I believe he had our staff do this fast at the beginning of this year. Now that we have found our purpose, he will send people our way to see and hear Christ in us. We will walk in it ourselves as the leaders of CFNI. Those that choose to be here, this must become our lifestyle. Things are about to change. Stop.